everybody, my name is Jack, and today I'll be showing you how to make liquid culture media for mushroom cultivation. So a liquid culture is a nutrient-rich solution inside of which mycelium can survive. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to make two different recipes for liquid culture. The first of which being light malt extract, and the second being caro light corn syrup. Liquid culture can be used to inoculate stuff like agar, grain spawn, BRF cakes, um, slants, or it can also be expanded outwards into more liquid culture. Sugar content within a liquid culture can vary, but the sweet spot tends to be about 4%, so that's the dilution ratio we'll be going for today. Lastly, I'll take you guys into the lab and I'll show you the materials and procedure for making liquid culture. So first off, I have these one quart mason jars with 700 milliliters of just regular tap water. Distilled water is preferred, but tap water works just as well. Next, I have these plastic mason jar lids. These are wide mouth. And the reason I use plastic is just so that you don't get any rust inside of the liquid culture. Um, this is PP5, so autoclavable. And in these, I've added a self healing injection port and a Tyvek air filter to filter out any airborne contaminants that might want to um, hurt your mycelium or anything like that. Next, you'll need some method of breaking up your mycelium. So I have these stir bars. Before I had stir bars, I just used marbles, or some people use broken up shards of glass and they'll just kind of shake the jar around and that'll break up the culture but yeah these these stir bars are great um next up you'll need a sugar source so for the first recipe like i said there's malt extract and then i also have this caro and then lastly i've got foil just to put on top of those jars whenever we go to pressure cook them. So I'll start off with the procedure for the Caro liquid culture. Um, since we're doing 4% dilution, you'll want to use 4 milliliters of Caro per 100 milliliters of water. And since we have 700 milliliters of water in here, 4 times 7 is going to be 28. So we have about 28 milliliters of that corn syrup. We'll just add straight into this water. There's one. The caro works pretty well. Um, it's just sticky, so it can kind of be inconvenient, um, like clean up afterwards and everything like that. And we can just add the stir bar. And I'm gonna set it on the plate to stir it up. You can also use warm water um, to improve solubility. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's basically it for the Caro. Next up is the light malt extract. So you want to use about one gram per 600 milliliters of water with the light malt extract. And since we have 700 milliliters, we'll be using 1.16 grams per jar. So you can just tear up the scale, measure out 1.16 or about 1.16 grams of light malt extract. We got one gram. There we go. 1.16. I'm just gonna add this right here. You can see it's starting to dissolve in the water. I'll go ahead and add the stir bar as well. I'll get these three jars set up and then we can move on to the next step. All right, now that we've got everything decently homogenized, we can add our lids, but there's a certain way I like to add the lids and it's referred to as finger tight. So what you do is you, you get the lid on and then you take your hands away and you only spin until the jar starts moving. 
And what that does, it ensures that the lid isn't on too tight so you don't get any pressure cracks or anything like that um, when you put it in a high pressure environment like the pressure canner. All right, now that we've got our lids and foil on the jars, we're gonna go ahead and pressure cook these. And just a quick walkthrough of the pressure cooking process, what we're gonna do is load these jars into the canner with three quarts of water, and we're gonna turn it on high heat, let that canner steam at full force once that lock is up for about 10 minutes to purge any air that might be in the vessel. And then we're gonna put on our 15 PSI weight, let it come to pressure, and then we're gonna cook that for 20 minutes. And the reason we only do 20 minutes is because anything longer will caramelize these sugars in here and it'll get a really dark, kind of cloudy liquid culture. I just pulled these guys out of the canner. These four are the light malt extract and this is the Caro. You can see the Caro will render a more transparent um, culture compared to the light malt extract. Um, but both of these recipes should work. These are all sterile on the inside and ready for inoculation. So just stick around and I'll have a video out on that soon. Hopefully if you've come across this video, you found it helpful. And yep, there you have it, how to make liquid culture.